Ignatius versus Vol uh, Valadin. Ignatius in the loser side, so Ignatius has to take two sets off of Valadin for a his set. Was the second one? I'm not sure. I, I wasn't there for the. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking. Okay. Going back. Ooh, okay. Good, uh, good read into the uh, spot. Uh, you know, roll into the left, down air into four smash. Okay, another left trapping moment. Good call out of the jump with the up air. Four tilt to cash that neutral get up. Going D for the edge guard and um, a little bit um, of a misspacing of the four smash, but still enough to get him to the disadvantage state. Up so, air, yeah. You know, falls out of the nair, but it's okay. He got the up air. Yeah, he's been ca yeah, he's been catching people over and over again. You know, you freak out too much. You try to use your defensive option too fast, and he's just gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting and I'm watching you." Just a nair resets the situation. It's his turn now off stage. Yep, the horse cell, nice coverage, Ooh. got the tight timing. His I reaction speed is actually insane. Let's just poke each other with their swords over and over again. It's just like, yeah. It's like up to the back here. <laughs> you know, over dancing blade. You know, you know, landing down there, four <laughs> tilt, there, four there. Sliding at tilt. You, you, we got all we got all of them here. Oh, uh, missed tech from from Ignis though. Allows the line to get the reset on the situation. Up, up tilt. It's like yo, you got spikes. I got spikes. Follow combo. Oh no, weird, the back area. Weird fair. Yeah, I think he was going for retreating fair there or something. Called the roll. Oh my yeah, goodness. Called, called, the, up, called out the roll with the up smash. Yeah, that was super smart there. He knew he tried to condition. He he knew like, hey, I got the. He got the te the normal get up last time with the and now he's just gonna cover a roll. So both times he's actually caught a get up option. The to Tipper Blade, the Blade is gonna do just as well. And then just, you know, side B. Yeah, Tipper Dancing Blade is, you know, a little strong. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, it has the potential to kill even earlier than rolling side B, just saying. <laughs> But yeah, just trying to catch each other right now and then you throw, they're just trying to control the space with their with their swords, you know. True true fencing match, you know, they're like keep away, keep away and try and take the zone that they want to take while being able to move around there. But the be. dolphin slash. Just gonna get him, yes, the fair. He's such a D-Bash guard and it's so worth it. Yeah, like there's almost nothing he could have done there. If he up these, then he has to hope that the Valadin just misses the tech and dies. And then even if he does it, he if he upbees right there, he just dies. So like that whole situation was just betting on Valadin missing the tech and dying before he does. Which is extremely unlikely considering he was at like 31, so he would have bounced off the wall. And like he would have fell like kind of slowly that he could see where he was going. He wouldn't have bounced off the wall that, that fast. Oh definitely. Three, two, one, ah. Uh, so space adversary coming back to me. <laughs> that was a fun that was a fun stage. So so fun. Chasing, we were chasing you. That was a good yeah. one. Like I played some space with my brother, and we didn't even know what spot dodging was uh, during, during the back of the day. So That's we would funny. always get killed by taboos, um, the three ring attack. Uh, and then we would be like, "How are you supposed to beat this thing?" <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's taboo right now. It's just <laughs> Ignis is just being just leaped over and over in his advantage right now. He's just like, "Bro, get me out." Yep, reset the situation, off stage, he's at 69. Good, good grab. Please kill so this okay, meme can I be alive. To... Oh, okay, I was, I was expecting that roll. I was, I was expecting F tilt. Okay, there's your roll. Okay, I expect the jump this time. Ah, oh, drop, down, jump, jump. Keep the same thing. 69, by the way, it's real. <laughs> nice. I hate that it's so real. Yeah. It annoys me so much. A lot of things, such a solid job of, you know, getting into Ignaze's head. Yeah, like, he's, he's kind of poking this in a way that, you know, it, it, it changes how Ignaze is kind of approaching certain aspects of his game plan. And it's like, he's controlling the space that Ignaze is trying to contest. And because of that, like, he's just getting hit over and over again. Yeah, just like that. Just very patient, you know, just going for the grabs, going for the small punishes. That always adds up. 
I like that fake tip as well because that, that, that condition fits the side. Good forward the air. That was such yeah. a good forward air. I like the, the, I will say that I still like the fake tempo because it made Ignace realize like he's still trying to be worried and trying to put that condition be like, hey, I can go off stage, you know. Keep that keep that option in mind in, in, in uh, Ignace's mind. Okay, just playing the neutral. Up B. Yeah, Dolphin's Good call out. Yeah. Couple landing, a forward set. Another, another forward grab. Grab. Another neutral space, another neutral get up, but yeah, this time... Yeah, that's the with the Oh, he knew he caught that jump, he knew he was jumping. Oh, but no tech, he still got the jump though. Okay, good grab again. Okay, backs off. Okay, now he's... Okay, he gets the center stage again. Yep, and Dolphin's not... Dolphin's not so, is so good for anything that... Even if these chances do want to okay. launch shield. Or two? Okay, another grab. There you go. Just, you know, situation. just constantly getting those little punishes. It, they, they always matter. Yeah, so he's like, he's, he's kind of pushed Ignace to kind of, which he's, okay, so, so he, that time he let him come back for free, but if, if Aladdin decides to go off stage, it kind of pushes Ignace away to a certain degree where he's forced to come a little bit lower. And so Ignace is going to try and eventually, uh, I mean, Aladdin's going to try and push that advantage eventually one of these, one of these times. Get that mirror. Uh, barely lives. Okay. I, I thought I was gonna see up air there. I see a lot of people were, yeah. Yeah, cut the mirror. Such yeah. a good spacing. Walks back just enough so that the fair misses and then four tails his face. Oh, yeah. sorry. I thought that was uh, also yeah, super smart right here. Like he's been he's been covering a lot of the ledge options that time, and that time chose he chose to react to everything that he was doing. I thought he jumped down and did rising there. I was just like, okay, I'll just let you take that punch. Side B again. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't talk about this one. I just like, you know, I talk about this every time. It's like, you know, look at him. He did this everything right. And I'm just like, yeah, he's good. I'm like, okay. You know? Okay, up B, just to the top platform of Battlefield, so that will safe. Yeah, so it's actually really good for you for in that situation because he can either mix it up by either staying on the top platform or falling through and going down. So it kind of makes it a little bit harder for Ignite to find. Yep. Forward air, tries to poke a little bit more, falls out of there. Oh, he read that roll. He just, he just went a little bit too far. Yep, he wait, so he's been waiting for Ignace to actually kind of swing first every single time. Uh, and because of that, he's just like, okay, I'll, I'll wait for you to swing. And kind of do a small little Ooh, game punish. Okay, four. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a little bit on the sus DI, not gonna lie. Yeah, and it was super strong too, especially considering that he had the boosted effort to cover that, that ledge option. So especially just, because he was rolling away too, so his uh, joystick might just be pointing to the left yeah, a bit. Yeah, it was like, yo, I'll take, a, I'll take a trip to the blast zone, please. I think the way Ignace can come back is because Ignace is... Because these two are very contrasting. Valadin uh, is very a small punish focus, and then you know adapt adapting style. Ignace is definitely setup based. Very he, close, to it, very close. To it. Yeah, he really needs that just that one setup to work. But at the same time, you cannot let that get into your head of oh my setup isn't working. Let me try that again because that will basically uh, uh, tunnel vision you to just keep going for that setup. And then you, while you can do some mix ups. In order so that it doesn't look like you're going for the setup, but in reality you are, that uh, is very apparent to Valadin already because, you know, he's been constantly putting uh, uh, Ignace at the ledge for the past, like, you know, past half of the game. Yeah, definitely he's keeping him on the, like, with the ladder staff, um, very keep, keeping him at disadvantage like, constantly. And, like, he's, he's a very, like, bait, baity, baity kind of listener, you know, right? Like, he'll wait for you to do it. Such a deep edge guard. Oh, okay. so that, that's the exact situation that, um, that Valadin was trying to do on Ignis, where, we're, like, he'll push him to go too far, but Valadin will actually, like, back off just enough where he can, um, he can just go by the ledge trap. Whereas Ignis actually went even further to push Valadin away. Yeah, okay, I expect. Ah, oh, okay. I was expecting a neutral getup. Oh yeah, I found that last too long, so turn. Yep, try to come in there with the jump and then get it. Double, Double down there. Ooh, okay. Yep, forward tilt is his turn now. So try to face it, but he wasn't in time. Okay, so Miss ti time's a forward tilt. Yep, but he has to go for it. Yep. Oh, try to go for it. Why did the reverse like that? Oh my he god, still, he, he makes that! Wow! He missed it. Oh my god, Vladin actually missed it. That was so bad. A very rare miss from the uh, Vladin. Oh, oh my! He gets this, he gets this, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yep. Oh, just like that. Ignace over over three stocks right now. But we'll see. Uh, but... <laughs> Flash. 
No Classic up B and up B. Oh my god. Uh, Vladin also has those whole mountain climb, but he's got big conversions as well. Like Lucina, like sure Mark has like big conversions and like early, early kills, but what Lucina has is consistency. And that consistency of like has, um, doing like 8, 10% or 15% every single slot is going to keep adding up. And like that's the exact same way that Vladin has been pushing his advantage. And like that consistency is gonna matter. If, he, if Ignace takes too many hits like this, like he, it's gonna add up, and he gets the kill. That's gonna be really big trouble. What Ignace needs to do right now is to control the pace of the match, nice. or you know, just go for a counter. Yeah, he's gonna go for it. Yeah, he went low. And just makes it. Good conversion. Yeah, that's all I can say. That's just a solid conversion there. Yeah, that down air into up with some control. I was gonna say that Ignace needs to control the pace of the match, but it looks like he did a very good job there. Yeah, definitely. I will say though, like the that outcome was like you know a little bit dependent on just that that shield break. That shield break kind of threw the momentum. Off that the shield break was definitely the momentum shift that uh, Ignace needed. Definitely, definitely. Okay. I don't know why um Balada was keep holding the shield because he was holding it for quite long. It might have been just a slow reaction, but knowing his um knowing his uh what is it? Let's try to go. I, I, I bet that he might have gone for the parry, maybe, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm par parry is also a public thing. Probably let go of it a little bit too late. Well, not at all, because, you know, he didn't get it. I think it might have been parry, because yeah. he was already high percentage, so if he did get hit by the regular thing, it looked like it was spaced properly, too, so he might have died, actually, from that. Yeah, trying to control the space, force him to go low, condition that response, use Dolphin Slash again, try to go far, and you're dead. Yep. Just air dodge it to the left to make this thing quicker. Hey, Baladin. Having the, having such a good hold of the pace of the match in the first two uh, first two games, but now after that shield break moment, the momentum has shifted toward Ignace. Yeah, Ignace is just running away with it. He's and there we go, just like that. Properly. Momentum shift. Yeah, okay, that was super smart, yeah. He had, to up, he had to use Dolphin Slash at that exact moment, otherwise he's just, he's just gonna die for it. This is the benefit of playing Mark, honestly. Like, this explosiveness, it, it, it causes it causes a mental, like, what's the term? I, I'm not sure. Well, something like that. Oh my god, both the time. Down air in a fourth round did kill, and Dick would have kill, but hey, that fourth air, fourth air on the Dolphin Slash is gonna get that kill. It really can't crush your mentality. Like, you you have such a good control over the pace of the matches. All of a sudden, you get shield break once, and now you're losing. You know, you're losing three to one stock already. Yeah, it's so fast too. Like, it is just kind of running away with it. I think if Aladdin can kind of like slow down the pace a little bit more, maybe not let Ignace just carry this momentum a little bit more in the next game. Because I don't know how much Aladdin is thinking about the game right now. Just, like that, getting NC and doing double up his oh, oh, no, rare bro. SD from Ignace. It looks like it? he might not need it and going for that <laughs> foot <laughs> skill, <laughs> cheeky. I will say, he went for that in the winner's set, and then he died for it. <laughs> Yo, honestly, he goes for that, like, yeah. <laughs> not once in a while, he does, he does go for it, like, that between frequently and once in a while. I don't know what's the proper terminology for it, but he, he does that pretty often, there you go. <laughs> I don't know, I can't speak English right now, apparently. <laughs> I will say, yeah, Vladin trying to take a, a little bit of a breather, get some water, think about, you know, that last game, or last two games, really. Think about what he really needs to be doing, so. All right, look, you know, looks like with the momentum shift, Ignace might take this, um, take this reset and then go for maybe even reverse, reverse 6-0 at this rate. Which is insane. But knowing Vlad, uh, knowing Vladin, if he does calm himself and then um, to, you know try to control the pace again, despite Ignatius' very explosive, uh, explosive, um, I don't know, I can't think right now. Moving on to the final game. There you go. <laughs> yeah, very pace and neutral at the beginning, but a little bit of damage. Shift down through uh, up air, up wave. air, up air. Good boy. Yeah, yeah, good, uh, good time getting on platform. No jump. Nice grab. Yeah, Ignatius is just getting a little bit too. He's just getting a little bit too scared. Yep, he Ooh, waited that good time. Good, so, yeah, good wait, good wait, good wait from the ladder there. 
Uh, interesting. Yeah, neutral, yeah, interesting neutral beam delay. I feel like he wanted to go for a stream. He might have been in misinput as well. So, okay, the last Oh, good call out and perfectly timed there. Okay, yeah, so that, that, that's the momentum shift uh, that Valada needed. That is the momentum shift that Valada needed. Like, he's been, connect he's been commanding neutral this entire game. Oh my god, no chance. Oh my goodness. No, no, this, this, this. this looks like a runaway train already. Yeah, cut the neutral, get out. He's gonna come for your own okay. Yeah. Okay, do that be out of shield. I was trying to go for the Darya, yeah, one of the, the other hitboxes. Okay, to a little bit. Okay, uh, waiting for the setup to see the reaction, but wasn't able to uh, react. Wasn't able to get any follow-up after that. Ooh, spot dodge. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, right? He could either go on the platform or go on the floor, and he would decide to go on the bottom of the stage. Four super, super hard, super hard to, to deal with for against there. Okay, falls out of the nair again. Yep, wait to try to get okay, the tipper. Spot. Yeah, I got the tower spot though. He was looking for the tipper. The tipper definitely would have killed. Yeah, neutral. Yeah, Milan and commanding the neutral, neutral right now. Okay, now in a vanish state. Ooh, that. He needs to cast his landing right now. Oh yeah, no, this that... is the catch. Yeah. This is the catch, and now he's in disadvantage again. Oh no, and he's too low. Pays it with the stock. No, he went Three too one. low. Nice call. Okay. Yeah, call oh, the that, that's not enough to kill, but that four there should do the job. Okay, Velada still with the momentum though. I love that use of dancing, but they kind of cut his momentum. It just makes it uh, even harder. Oh my! Oh my God! The Vladin with the own SDS. That is the, literally the worst thing that can happen. And Ignace might be going on a runaway train style. Oh no! Uh, this that probably was the most heartbreaking SD in this in this yeah, tournament. Yeah, grand finals, no less. Last game on the reset. That's not what you want to see right now. Okay, if Vladin does somehow make this back, he he has the mental he has the mentality of like top player. At this no, break. he has he has to like you, you can't you can't let that SD get to you. You have to be like okay, I had the lead, I was winning neutral, all of that. Just because I, I SD doesn't mean that the, like I can uh, he's in the lead, right? Like he has he has the control. He's going for his grabs like multiple times, but um, uh, Ignace has been catching on to his grabs. Oh no, punish there on the dance with dancing blade. Got the Ooh, roll. Good, okay, good, good coverage. Yeah, just go keep, keep going for these grabs. This is yeah, it makes it oh, it's going like to oh. reset the bracket. Oh, this is so heartbreaking. Is yeah, that mine. SD was everything. Oh, that SD cost him the reset. Run back to small battlefield, but you know he did show at the last game that he is capable of making those momentum shift, but. This is a even bigger momentum shift he needs to do, so... Yeah, he just can't, like... I can't... Wow. He just needs to deal with himself, like, you know... Not, right. not really thinking about it. That was another game. This is